Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Today is Wednesday because I got paid today. Why is that slow? I thought my mouth. Oh, it felt like my mouth was slow. <laughs> I guess that's the way it goes. <laughs> well, it's hot. It is so humid out. You see my hair is still wet. I went out. Um, I had to go to the drugstore pick up two of my prescriptions. I still haven't gotten my glasses uh, fixed, so it's still in the hospital. And called in order of groceries on, I think it was Saturday, and they said I could pick them up on Wednesday. So I went and picked up my groceries. I just brought them in. So I have been extremely busy, but I think I'm pretty well caught up. Now I'm just waiting for stuff to come in the mail, like hardware for the coin purses and um, some other miscellaneous stuff. I ordered a, a new color yellow for the coin purses. That hasn't come yet. And um, I think it's due like the 16th or sa Saturday, whatever, Friday, Saturday, whatever day. But in the meanwhile, I received um, elastic. Um, Cheryl went shopping uh, at a textile factory where she has a good friend there. And I got plenty of elastic. I got pink and red and black and white. So I am happy. Um, I have, these are my three orders for, um, these are for mask. So I'm caught up on my mask. So that's good. And when I got caught up, I miss making my bags. I enjoy making my bags. So I made a few uh, bags. So I'm going to make more today, I think, since I'm caught up on the mask. So first of all, I want to show you, I put um, two finished objects. Um, and then, and then the and then the bags. Okay, brain, catch up with the mouth. I'm waiting for my brain to catch up with my mouth, or my mouth to catch up with my brain. My brain's going faster than my mouth, or my mouth's going faster than my brain, one or the other. Anyway, I got a problem there. Okay, right behind me, you can see, these are the coin purses that I've been making. I've got orange and pink. And these are for a customer that I've I've just pinned the 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 initials on. This is for Laura. Laura, this is your little orange coin purse. And I got orange, pink, cinnamon. This is cinnamon, green, and I got purple. And I got blue. Now the blue is 100% cotton. And it's, it's soft so that if you wanted to do it this way, you could. So I like this one. So I got pink and blue. And now I I just finished a combination of the two. I put the two, because this is a 1mm and the others are two. Because that's what I normally get is the two. The four and the six is just, you can't. It's too hard to work with. Even with... Um, the two this is cord and it's very difficult and it does wear on my fingers so um, so anyway so that's cinnamon and whoops and of course the the tan and purple the purple one and I'm working on some different styles of them I kind of enjoy oops, Oh, well, it's on the floor. Excuse me, guys. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> anyway, I've been working on a couple styles on them and have some different ideas, and and I'll, I'll work on those as I go along. But I've got, oh, God, I guess, I guess I've got 20 hardware pieces coming in. 
but I do have already made out in the living room maybe a dozen or more so yeah so I think they're very I think they're fun I and I love mine I carry mine everywhere I just in fact that's all I took with me that and the phone when I went to the uh, drugstore and stuff so anyway so I finished two of the um, Petra's um, granny squares that she sent me and I've got the handles on and everything and this is one this is the smaller one and this is outlined in yellow so I try to incorporate the yellow and some of the duplicate ones see there and there and it has the yellow and this is the other side see and that has a little bit of yellow in each one of those so this is and it's lined this is the lining and it has a pocket I haven't put my tag in it yet, but I'll put I'll put a tag. Don't worry, I'll put a little tag in there for you. And then the second one is lined in a coral color, peach coral, whatever you want to call it. And this is the main the main one. And then I had these, as you can see, Isn't that pretty. Let me back off. This is a a little a little bigger than the other one. And this is the other side. I just thought they were all unusual, so I just kind of put the unusual ones. But, but these are all flat. And I made this the vocal point. And it has the same lining as the other one. And it has a pocket. So these two I uh, finished last night. And um, I don't know, they came out quite nice. Quite nice. Perfect. But aren't they beautiful? Um, beautiful squares. So, yeah. So these two are done. And then I have one in, in progress. And this is a big one. I didn't realize it was going to be so big, but some of her squares are quite large. So this color here is um, Granadina. Granadina, I guess is how you pronounce it. It's a very bright pink. And this is purple and pink. I haven't finished joining it yet. I've just got to finish this one side. But this is this is one side of it. And these are purple. All of this is purple that you see is blue. These are purple. This is a deep purple here. And this is purple. So they're basically all got purple in them. Purple or lilac. And then this is the other side. And I made this the vocal. This is this stands out. So that's the other side. So this is um, has to be I, all I have to do is finish this one side here. I'm just finished joining here. Now um, some of these, like these two here. That one down. Some of these I made myself. Uh, well, I could tell that I made this because the string is still hanging out of it. Where is it? Right here. Some of these I made because I needed a little solid color to go with it. And on the other side, did I make any of those? Yeah, I did. I think I did. I don't remember. But yeah, I did. I made this one. Yeah, it was easy to pick up. So I made one of these these squares so yeah so I think this is pretty this is very very pretty with all the purple and pink colors in it so this is a work in progress and I this and this will go over here now I'll show you look at that there was some fabric that came in that I didn't show you guys so you're going to be surprised surprised now let me show you, I got a little tray here that's got all my finished objects on. These are things to be done. Okay, let me Oops, here we go. Okay, what I did is a lot of people like little bags. So I had the 
the bat the large bags that I make are like thirty six dollars and that includes shipping all my all my prices include shipping and then the sort of for the little little bags you know like twelve by ten or twelve by fifteen or whatever they are they're like twenty five dollars so I made these little bags and these are flip-flops look at these flip-flops they have little pink balls and it's green it's kelly green this is lime green inside and it's got a little pocket right here little pocket and uh they're flip-flops i did make this a little bit longer i didn't mean to <laughs> do i ever mean to do anything right but anyway so it's a little bit longer but it's a little wrist thing whoops and this is the flip-flop but I thought with the flip-flops are so busy that I would make some a small bag with them. And I do have plenty of this left that I can make um, more of these. So this is a cute little bag. And I see how much it is. Let me see. I've got my little trusty, my rudel heat, rudel, rudel, ruler here. It's almost a 12, and I'm just going to measure it this way. A 12 by 8, a little more than a little bit more than 8, but isn't it cute? I love the flip flops with and this is lime, it's a bright lime color, always looks better in person. So I made this little one and then I made this little one. And this is like a paisley and it has this inside and it also has a little pocket and it has little purple balls with little orange. It has orange in it and it just zips right up and it has a little a little wrist thing but isn't that cute 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 so these are going to be $22 and that includes shipping 22 includes shipping they're so cute then I found this is the um, isn't that pretty I just thought this was so springy and it's it's sort of a reddish reddish and pink and I put the the red lining uh, this has no pocket because I didn't have that much of it left and I didn't want to waste it on pockets when I could make another bag out of it and then this is another one this is a little smaller than the one I just showed you and I lined it in orange and then this doesn't have a pocket either. So if I had made pockets, then I wouldn't have made, been able to do this, you know, this bag. Oh, I do have, I did make another hummingbird, but this is for Linda Gear. So I have to send that to her. That's spoken for. But I do have, I think I do have more of that uh, fabric. And then I made this small one. This is like the $25 one. And it's paisley. It's um, green with lilac and blues and yellow lime colors. The balls. It's got a little wrist thing, little wrist thing on it. And this does have a pocket. I did put a pocket in this. So those are the ones I made the other day because I was just so tired of mask I just needed a break so that's what I did so a work in progress is I know you guys recently uh, if you watch Chevy rail she lost her little olive so when I was shopping around for fabric I found this and it looks just like olive so I'm gonna make her a bag this little bag because she likes little bags so I'm going to make this little bag for her in memory of Olive and I'm going to put a little pocket in it a little wrist thing and all that good stuff line it in black and then I have a larger one that I'm going to make this is it and um, and I'm going to line that with pink to match the tongue see him with his tongue hanging out or her so anyway, I want to send the little one to uh, Chevy, and then this one will be available when I get around to making it, which should be today. Um, I, got, I got, I got it, I got it. And then I have um, this is I love my cat little one, and it's going to be lined in a 
sort of a yellow, so that's cut and ready to go. These are all are bot, uh, bottoms, you know, box bottoms. And another one, I love my cat. These are all cut and ready to rock and roll. And then I got this from a crochet sister, I believe. And I love it. I love it. It's so Floridian. But it's got the um, pink flamingos on it. It's it's pink. This is pink. Pretty pink. It's not showing up so well there. But it's pink. It's got flamingos on it. And the pineapple. And the hibiscus. Orange hibiscus. So that is a bag in to be made. So I put that. See, and I... And I, I think I got a little, I'm going to be making a big bag and then a little bag. So you could either get a pair if you like. And then this little bag. Pink flamingos. And then I have some more, um, let's see how it goes with that one. Then I have some more little um, flip-flop bags that I'm making. I think I got two with blue lining yeah I got two here with blue lining that's all the stuff that goes with it so. oh and one with green that's right and I cut one with green because I really like this a nice summer so I cut one with green too it has the lime green so those are cut and ready to be made so put that up there and let's see what else um, I think that's enough, huh? But size. Besides, I have this is a stack, whoops, of um, masks that I have cut out. And also, I wanted to let you know that I made, um, I had gotten a request from a nurse down in Naples, or was it the nurse? It was either Nancy or Diane, they're nurses. One is in New Jersey and one is in Naples, Florida. But um, they wanted to try the um, do-rag with buttons on each side. So I made them and I sent them to them and it was a hit. They loved them and so did the other nurses. So I had offered if they wanted them, I would, would make the do-rags with the buttons if they needed them and so on and so forth. So yes, I'm still making um, upon request. Um, no more free ones. These are, you know, if you if you want them, they're four dollars each. Just let me know. Um, yeah, let me know, and send me an email. It's easier for me to track everything on email. Plus, I need your email address if you order something, so that I can bill you through um, PayPal. That's the way it works. And then I could get the shipping papers and I can ship it from PayPal and oh, it's just so much easier. But I wanted to show you a couple things that I got. A couple things in the mail. I got this really pretty and I love this. Thank, a thank you card. Isn't that beautiful? It just brightened up my day when I saw it. So springy with the butterflies and all the pretty colors. I just loved it. So, um... You're very welcome, and please, please stay safe. That's all I can say. And then I got um, a big thank you here from San Diego. Look at that, from Rebecca. Yes, she bought the um, the Granny Square, um, Petra's uh, Granny Square bag that I did with the, um, the pets and the fruit on the other side. Yes, it was a very popular, Petra, it was a very popular <laughs> um, bag. So anyway, so um, so this is for San Diego. I was so excited. That's good. These are going to go on my board. So that was the mail I got. And I got um, also, um, while Cheryl was at the textile factory, she bought me a bunch well she didn't buy it I bought it but she got it for me and shipped it to me and I got it all yesterday um, liner fabric which is hard to find the right you know the right kind and stuff so I got all that yesterday plus I got some batik 
I'm not going to show you because I'm going to make moo moos for me out of those. And I'll show you when I get, get that done. Um, I also wanted to tell you in what I've been doing for men, and I also got a request from um, a crochet sister to make some for her son who is in the Navy, and they can wear mat. They have to wear masks on the base or whatever when they go out. So um, I had received this uh, patriotic. I got, um, and I've been using these for men, and and I also made a do rag for my friend. Um, what's his name? Ed. And he called me, and he loved it. Fit perfect. He loved it, and it was the patriotic um, fabric. And he just loved. He loved. He loved it. So, and it fit perfect. So, I. Yeah, it looks like do rags are in my future. And let's see. I did have another. I might have already made them. But they're good for men. And I did have some other ones that I would make in for men. The. Uh, the cabin and uh, I don't think I have the other one I think I've already made them yeah I did so I have a variety here I have some, some flowers some not flowers some batik and uh, just all different kinds but you know I it's oh and I wanted to tell you a long time ago it could have been a year ago I can't remember. Um, Victoria of uh, Victoria in Alaska. I'm not good with names. Y'all already know that. Victoria sent me a whole box of miscellaneous um, uh, pieces of fabric. And they were cut in squares like 12 by 12, 10 by 10. But what I wanted to tell you, my friend, if you're watching... And I don't know if you probably noticed it, but I've been using them. I know you thought, well, she can use them someday. Well, I'm using them. And I'm using them on the mask that I'm making. So I just wanted to let you know that I have been using a lot of that. The dark blue, the burgundy, all the colors that you sent me, I have, I've used them. So that was... Um, Okay, you, you never know when you get something, when you're going to need it. So, and I needed it, just like those pipe cleaners. I thought, what in the world am I going to do with all those pipe cleaners that people were sending me? Well, I used them all, every last one. I ran out of elastic this past weekend. And um, so, I didn't, I ha had caught up until Monday when I got more orders. And then Monday, the new elastic came in. So I was able to uh, get the rest of my orders that I had done. So those orders will go out tomorrow. Okay, so yes, I've been really busy. And then I, I crashed. <laughs> I got so tired. Whew, I was so tired. So um, Sunday, I think it was Sunday, I did a little bit, but not much. And then Monday, that's when I decided that I needed, I slept, I took two or three naps that day. I did a little bit, a little bit, but not much. I don't even think I turned the sewing machine on on Monday. And then Tuesday, I came in and I cleaned. I've got my days all screwed up. Anyway, I took a day. I took a day off, maybe a day and a half. Could have been two. But there was one day that I did not come in here and and work on this. And uh, I want to start my knitting project. I got my knitting needle, my round knitting needles in, and I got my other bunch of needle needles over here. And I got to pick through and find the right ones for the for the project. But um, yeah, so I want to get started on that and finish up this. So I've got all kinds of little fires going on and the do rags and all that stuff and um, yesterday I was very sad um, I don't know if I ever told you the story but I was a big big Redskin fan I had season tickets on the 50 yard line in right up front 
for, uh, in fact, it was 106 was my, was my seat. For about 15 to 20 years, I had season tickets. And then, you know, things happened and the, the tickets, the lady uh, passed away and left the tickets to somebody else. So that's the way that goes. So anyway, there was a group of us. There were five guys and me. And every, every Sunday during the football season, we would get together. We either went to the games together or we went to each other's house and watched the game and cooked. And, you know, at halftime, we would have dinner or lunch, whatever, mostly dinner, I think, because the games came on at one. Um, the Monday night games always were at David's house. So there were there were five guys. One guy, uh, Lenny, who was a very good friend of mine, he passed away several years ago. It's been 10 years. Has it been that? Oh, nine. Almost 10 years. He passed away. He's the one that I went and stayed at his house for about a year and a half, and I tried to help um, in the care of him. And then um, the second one of our gang passed away on Easter Sunday. He had mal melanoma, and this is kind of rare, but it was it started in his feet, and he um, was a um, uh, the groundskeeper of of golf courses, and they think back back years ago when they had all the chemicals and stuff that it probably had contributed to this. They don't know for sure. But they did do send him to Duke University, what, about a year ago or so, or this past year or whatever. And, um, but anyway, he lost his battle with cancer. And uh, I'm very sad. I, uh, he was a very, very nice man. He had a, a wonderful family. He had a son and a daughter. They both, he saw both of them get married, and both of them have children. Each one has a, a child. And his wife is, um, was a Latin. His wife was um, probably still, she's very involved in Latin. She was a Latin teacher in high school. She's very involved in that. And she plays bridge, and she has tea parties. I mean, real fancy tea parties with all the fancy stuff the lace and the beautiful tea cups and all that stuff. But she has, uh, she's a very nice lady. They were a very nice family and they were very close. So I feel very bad for them. But anyway, we had some wonderful times. We had a great time uh, together. And uh, he was he was a good cook too. Uh, I guess he even got better as, you know, we all went our separate ways and in time and um, but those were the good times. They were very good times. So anyway, um, my sincere sympathies to him, to his family. And um, so on the up note, is there an up note? Are we still happy? Are we all happy in our homes, crocheting and all that good stuff, finding projects to work on? The ones that you've put behind and said, oh, I'll do that someday. Well, now you can pull it out and work on it. Make an afghan. Take some of this yarn and make an afghan. But I just, I went on um, Krista's channel today. And uh, she's the one that's in South Africa. It's in Africa, Kenya. And... Um, she made a beautiful poncho. I might try to find. I might try to make that. She is going to do a video on it. I did make one of her ponchos that I sent to. Um, I think I sent it to my niece. I think I did send it to a niece. But um, yeah, I love. I love some of her stuff is quite beautiful. And this poncho is beautiful. It looks heavy though. It have to be for really cold weather. So, but it would be fun to to try it. Anyway, I'm not. I don't do a lot. I've done, what, two ponchos in my life, and I'm not into ponchos or shawls because I don't, I don't use them, and I, I don't know many people that do, but I did make a virus shawl, and I sent it to, my, to, to Linda, 
um, Walter's wife, the one that just passed away, I sent her that shawl. And uh, she was the only one I've ever seen wear shawls. I've never seen that shawl on her. I don't even know if she wears it. She probably doesn't. Probably put it in a, in a trunk somewhere. I don't know. But but she, she was surprised that I did it. Um, you probably wonder, what do I enjoy making? Well, things that are different. <laughs> I, I'm not into amongaroonie, roomies, or what in the hell. Sorry, YouTube, I shouldn't have said that. They'll probably put a limit on me again. I got a limit limit put on me on one of my, I think because I said a, accidentally said a cuss word like I just did now, and I have to watch my potty mouth. Well, what the heck? What the heck? They just have to take the grain, you know, take the content. Yeah, if I was somebody that used bad language all the time and all that stuff, it'd be different. But I don't. Not when I'm, not when I'm on video. <laughs> well, guys, I think that's all I've got to show you today. Um, I don't know if I should. Is this? Well, I might have showed you the pattern. Here it is. This is what I'm going to try to try to make in the Velux. See that little? It's just a little sweater. It's going to be a challenge. I haven't knitted in probably, let's see, 2009. It's been a, it's been a long time. <laughs> Eleven years probably. But anyway, I'm going to give it a whole, I got the the fabric. I've now got all my stuff that I need. And um, I've got the large-eyed blunt needles. So I've got everything. So now we're going to give it a try and see. And this cardigan, it's funny. The cardigan is worked in one piece from the neck downwards. A piece is divided at underarms to work the lower body and sleeves. Woo! Circular needles are used to accommodate the number of body stitches when working the body. Work back and forth in rows on the circular needles as if working on straight needles. Hmm. Sleeves are worked in rounds on double knitted, on double pointed needles and or shorter circular needles. So, it's been a long time guys, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I need to staple that together too. I better got my staple over there so if you want a coin purse or if you want if you need masks and all that good stuff please email me I'd be happy to help you um, if you want a, a, one of the little bagsies and stuff like that just email me and I'll I'll get it off to you it's all made and ready to rock and roll so I'm going to say goodbye for now and um check in with you guys later today's what Wednesday I'll check in you in uh, weekend or before the weekend or whatever so please be safe use your mask I use mine my mask gloves all that good stuff when you go I don't go out around people so that's that's good I am not taking any 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 chances okay was I good? I was good, huh? I was. I made a little slip there, but you know, I was good. I was good. I was trying to be straight. <laughs> it's it's not nice unless I'm funny. I like to be funny. I like to laugh. But I really don't have anything to laugh about today. Um, but I am caught up on my comments. I went through them all. I did do that yesterday. So I'm in good shape, guys. Really good shape. Feel good. Got lots of rest last night. Went to bed early. I didn't stay up till 2 or 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. I went to bed about midnight uh, and slept till 9, 9.30. And then yesterday, I just Rosie and I just laid in bed and, and uh, didn't feel like getting up. So you know, the circle under my eyes are gone. See? See, they're all gone now. They're all, they were puffy and brown and dark and all that good stuff. Okay. 
I'm going to uh, have lunch. It's 1.42. I'm going to have lunch, watch a little news, and then come in and make some stuff. I might even make a few masks just to get ahead a, a little bit. So I'm going to download this, and I will see you guys later in the week. Have a wonderful time. Please be safe. Please be safe. Bye, everybody. Take care.